Hi, my name is Knut, and today we are in Anka Studio with Gussie Clark. Welcome. Sir Gussie, how are you doing? Sir. Good man, always good, you know? Yeah, man. Because it could always be worse. Yeah, it's an honor to be here with you. I don't even know where to start. You've been in the music business for more than more years than I've been alive. <laughs> that's and over I'm glad four to, decades. And, I, and I'm alive, so that's, <laughs> that's a good thing. That's four decades. How you got started? Love, passion. That's how I started. I was fortunate to kind of know what I wanted from day one, move towards it, and I wanted assistance of my mother. And the rest is history. I've operated at many different levels from producer, selling records, exporting records, self-taught engineer, home studio, music publisher. I've been around, put it that way. Mm -hmm. What are some of the lessons you learn from the early days that carrying you through today? Be the best of what you can be, wow. rather than wasting time and being the worst of what you want to wow, be. Wow, that's powerful. I forget that one, so keen for them to go <laughs> be too. Wow. That was a real thing. Wow. Um, I want to know, because if, in a, my world, you are the godfather. You've been around, you, you, you know, in any sector, somebody want all a reason. They want to know about publishing, copyright, any, any, anything for do with music, from the back end, the front end, in between. Um, them come link you, and you've had extensive knowledge of all of those things. What do you think um, the youths them now are lack, where, where you feel like them for either... Just, just put on the keyboard and go learn something else. You feel like them for, for you know, go through you know the hard knocks of like where you would come through or you know just go study different things. No, I think you know times and technology have evolved and it has given people the opportunity to be able to do things in an easier way. But the issue might be some persons probably take the technology to be the end and we all and mm -hmm. a lot of them might be compromising professionalism mm -hmm. and there's no substitute for professionalism and I think that's where a lot of them are hearing and mm -hmm. you know they need to understand you know basically that you don't just simply make music you try to innovate music because mm -hmm. anybody can do anything you and I are doing but you and I will do it differently and difference is what brings success or failure they have to recognize that and there's another issue with a lot of them um, I call it the me factor. Some persons seem to get bragging rights or pleasure in saying, you know, my studio, me produce it, me are the writer, me are the manager, me this, me that. Mm -hmm. But they lack the skill and the competencies in many of those areas and they are making fatal mistakes and mm -hmm. having good ideas, you know, falling by the wayside. You've had successes for, you know, I think too much to mention. What, to date, what are some of the things that you'd have said? Well, I'm really proud of that, that one thing that had a move that I made it glad to make the on the session that are, I was a part of that. You know, strangely, as a record producer, maybe quite a few other persons, some of the songs that you love the most is the one that might be least successful. Like, for example, you know, we did, did a song called um, Get Well Soon, mm -hmm. which is the first reggae or Jamaican song that have about 15 superstar Jamaican artists, you know, and that is historical and was never a great song. Mm -hmm. It also gave me pleasure in doing like Greg Isaac singing in a R&B slow ballad style version of Night Nurse and having different females singing counter lines in there and, you know, Greg is singing a ballad call, you know, too good to be true. Mm -hmm. So little things, things that matters and makes a difference were highlights for me. I, I'm not motivated by, you know, financial success because I believe if you do the work, ultimately at the end of the day, what is to come will come. Mm -hmm. So is some songs like the ones I've told you about a while ago. Yeah. And even we were the first person doing remix of a remix, like, you know, to the foundation with Dennis Brown, who did multiple remixes of it. A couple other songs where nobody was doing stuff like those. And to me, they are memorable because when you look back and even Champion Lover, you know, Mr. Lover Man, we did multiple remixes of it. You know, when you go back and look at them, they stood out and it, it makes me feel good. Nice, nice. You've been responsible for so many classics. Um, and, you know, uh, you know, some people don't read the credits. Definitely no, with, you know, just thing with streaming and all that stuff. So, you know, I am I am blessed to even sometimes just going about my day and just put in a tune or hear a tune on the radio. And, you know, for now that is somebody where we can touch have something to do with it. Um, you think people have the same 
um, passion with music, like back in the days when everybody used to come as studio and kind of vibe? Or you think people more just kind of in a them cocoon and my write a song in my room and then me go come out and do it. You think there's a difference with the energy when everybody come together and put together that vibe? Yeah, man, I think there's a different energy. Look, when you go back and you look at the, I, you know, one of the other things I believe is that quality of content is king. Mm -hmm. And a song make it a singer, a singer don't make a song, it's all about the song. And when you look back at in the past what made us so great as a people, and when you look back and you recognize, but in those days, like five, six, seven musicians collaborated and mm -hmm. innovations and the music was so great. Now it's one guy with a keyboard mm -hmm. with, you know, and him say, I'm a musician and do understand one thing about music. Mm -hmm. So the passion is totally different. People are, people are motivated differently now about, mm -hmm. you know, girls and the money and the traveling and the tour and the hype and the radio and, mm -hmm. you know, in our days, we were about the music. So yeah. I think the passion and the focus is totally different. It's yeah. about hype now. People mm -hmm. know clear, clear, clear. People are no more interested in likes than anything else, yeah. you know? Yeah. And uh, I, I don't see it that way. Yeah. It is important. It is where we are now technologically. But, you know, we have to get back to the core because why are you so much foreign and making more money than we? <laughs> Because they're doing what we have been doing yeah. and we have dropped and some of them create genres and industry outside. Mm -hmm. I have always said, if over 30 years after the death of Bob Marley, he's still selling more records than everybody put together. Yeah. Something was great then, which is not as great. No, we might need to go and do a study and say like, yeah, you know, what's reverse the difference? Reverse engineer what, what's yep. going on. Before yeah. somebody reverse it for we, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Uh, I'm going to put you on the spot. I don't no, know if I can. can. My spot. All right. I'm going to say two words and more you tell me where it come to mind. Jamaican music, not two words, this phrase. Jamaican music, structure. Nothing wrong with the structure, man. The people have something wrong with it. Look, mm. Jamaican, Jamaican music within Jamaica is totally different from Jamaican music outside of Jamaica. Mm. Jamaican within, with it, music within Jamaica, people act like it's in formal and where everybody are virgin and let's shake and talk and them go abroad to the foreign and them sign paper and collect money and behave totally different. So it's a totally different game. Mm. My big disappointment with our music now is where we are going. I don't think you're hearing the best of us. Mm. We have an abundance of talent. It's coming constantly. But people is listening to people, or listen to people, or listen to people. We never know who them should have listened to from day one. And we're not doing things the, the right way. So we are not getting the greatest benefit as people in Jamaica, as those foreigners outside of us. So we need to, you know, go back and look and understand what made us where we are. I mean, you know, we create... Um, so much different genre of music mm -hmm. and sub-genres have been created yeah. from it and become genres, you know, mm -hmm. the reggaeton and other formats yeah. and, you know, mm -hmm. Afrobeat and, yeah. you know, we need to get back in being professionals. That's all yeah. is required. And we have the ability, we have the talent. Yeah. Uh, so recently you were awarded um, OD. How did CD. That CD. 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 How did that make you feel? Feel yeah, awake. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know it coming, I knew it was coming. Yeah. I mean, you, you do the work, work and it's just a matter of time. It's one, it was one of the most asked questions by everybody. Yeah. Like, how come me and that? I've yeah. never asked anybody to nominate me. Yeah. But I knew that based upon the body of work and how mm -hmm. people felt, it was just a matter of time. So mm -hmm. it was not a surprise to me. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have had so much different honors and accolades and mm -hmm. all of that. So, you know, it's good to know that you as a person in your own country, in your own time and lifetime is being honored and respected for yeah. that which you felt as just, you're just doing a job. Yeah. So it feels good. From yeah. What are some of the noted uh, works you've done that you feel that people should um, kind of hear about, you know, tell our viewers? The question is, what should they hear about that they haven't heard about? Like I said earlier, the get well soon, the do well bunny wheel mm -hmm. and all, everybody coming, I mean, too much mm -hmm. persons through you know, to mm -hmm. call the names right now. Mm -hmm. That's historic. Mm -hmm. We just did a project there with this young kid called Kevy, where we take mul 10 different multi-genre remix of the same song by the same artist, mm -hmm. recording it differently. Never been done in the history of music with a Jamaican music and no music in the world. That's an historical fact, you mm -hmm. know? And these are differences, you know? I mean, people know about the everything, the Maxi Priest and mm -hmm. the Telephone Love and the Mighty Diamonds and, you know, mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, 
there's always Google when somebody asks me, <laughs> you know, Gossy Clark, who is Gossy Clark? I said, Google me. Yeah. So if you want, you know, have an idea what to look at, Google it. I want to tell you, somebody meet me the other day and they repeat my name and then they say, all right, I'm going to Google it. And I was like, I'm right here. You can't ask me what you want to ask me. And I'm like, no, I'm going to Google it. I'm like, Google don't know everything about me. Yeah, but, but you, you know why I go for Google? Yeah. I, it's a, in my case, it's a sense of humbleness rather than trying to talk all the things you have done. Yeah, Something yeah. you get tired of repeating yeah. and saying it. So I just said, you know, yeah. just do your own research yeah. yourself. Because this is how people in the real world mm. get to know a little bit more about you. Because they mm -hmm. will always come back to you, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, people seem to be amazed when they, you know, find all the things. And sometimes some things you forget. Yeah. But it is contained yeah. in the real, you know, on the internet in the world. So, you know, it gives a little insight sometimes more than you remember. Because at 65 years old, you are allowed to forget, you know. <laughs> uh, Sir Gussie, you've created a landmark that it, it makes an indelible mark, not just on Jamaican culture, but all across the world. Um, you know, music work, Anka, you can share a little bit about that and how it got started. Well, Anka Studios is basically a concept. All the concept was we were at, I'm a risk taker, I'm an investor and I believe and I love what I do and what I do loves me back mm -hmm. and I give thanks for it. Mm -hmm. Music business holds me nothing, I owe it something, it has given me a career, a life and a very good standard of living and I give thanks to the industry. This is why any time or anything I can do to provide any guidance or assistance to anybody, I do. Mm -hmm. So how Music Works came about? We had a makeshift studio in 56 Life Road where we didn't have proper space and you know we said let's build a studio, let's do something that has never been done. Let's create three different studios, three different sound, three different spaces, three different prices you can facilitate many different clients and this is how we have the largest recording facility in Jamaica our complex is the only place in Jamaica maybe in the Caribbean you can walk through the door with an idea in your head mm -hmm. and within the same day go back through the door recorded mix mastered printed in professional standard package seal shrink wrap and ready for sale nobody else does that in this country so how we arrive at doing things differently is that I put myself in the position of those who I serve to say, this is how I would like it to be done. This is how I want it to be done. So let me do it for them. It's not about the money. It's about the service. Mm -hmm. There's no love and respect for someone who comes to do and spend a dollar versus somebody who spend a thousand dollars. Once you are, you know, be a professionally and respectfully, we're good, mm -hmm. you know. So mm -hmm. I, I'm about service more than mm -hmm. anything. I'm at my work four or five o'clock in the mornings many times, you know. I'm a workaholic, you know. Can't thief, can't yeah. beg. Yeah. There's only work left. Yeah. So you've always been pushing the boundaries, whether it's with your production, just um, anything you have to do with in the industry. What you have coming on stream? We're launching something in the new year. It's called Pitchworks. The word pitch and works is actually coming together. Is that industry has changed. A whole lot of things that people associate and congregate and create and sometimes, if good, innovate. So we're going to open one studio on the outside and we're going to, it's called Studio 3. And we're going to find like about four or five upcoming young people with talent and give them a creative space to work. Mind you, it's a business model because, you know, it's not the salvation army this, so <laughs> we'll make it work and just give them space to work and cross the T's and dot the I's and, you know. Mm -hmm do what we can do because mm -hmm. we have more talent than anything else and people need opportunity so we have you know a good deal of experience we have creative spaces not being utilized as much as we like it to be but we are gonna invest in talent and giving them all the space they need to work That's once amazing. them can fit in within the model because yeah. the hype and the ego and the thing won't work here you are one to always have professional people around you you yourself are professional and um, I'm sure that's going to really um, infuse a, a level of professionalism into the youth them and thing. And we really look forward to that. It, it is an change. element that's, that's missing, as yeah. I said earlier in the conversation. Mm -hmm. Professionalism is missing. Yeah. And, you know, when it might work when you're in Jamaica amongst the front of your bridge and you run up your mouth mm -hmm. and talk. But when you go outside of you, don't work in the real world. Mm -hmm. And this is why we don't do as good as we can or should, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean... 
I hear people complain about the government to invest money and spend money and business. Spend which money? Enough money in music business. We as people who are here doing good need to invest. And you must make yourself investable if you think you have talent. And the ego and the hype and the thing won't work. It won't cut it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we as the industry must protect the industry. The government mm -hmm. now needs to create the infrastructure. For example, you know, the, the, the whole current copyright act is inappropriate. It gives latitude where abuse can take place. They need to mm -hmm. tighten up all of those and mm -hmm. so that more benefit can come to Jamaicans in the short and in the long term. Mm -hmm. Where you get your inspiration from, Sir Gussie? But I can only be a, some bigger than you and me, you know, because I don't know. But I'm a thinker. Yeah. More than anything, I, I think, and I, I'm not a complacent person. I'm always trying to do things differently, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't even sure. But some people want it different with like, the gifts or abilities. Mm -hmm. And I was just one of them who I think of a creative side to me. Mm -hmm. Plus a business sign that struck a balance between both. Mm -hmm. And it has been good to me for me. Mm -hmm. And wherever I can, I try to help others to achieve and attain, you know, mm -hmm. the best that they can be. Who you have your eyes on in terms of who can you think can carry the, the flag to the next, or, or your flag meaning our music to the next level? I don't know, sure. We have to recognize and understand that this industry is every dog of them there. Today you as a producer, tomorrow somebody else is a producer. Today as an art artist, tomorrow some as new talent is going to come. Mm -hmm. At this moment it's the coffee and the chronics, for example. Somebody else will come along, you know. The question is how long will it take them to achieve their best and it really depends on the approach, you know. Mm -hmm. But I have my eye on no one right now. I, I personally would prefer to look to new and upcoming talent to develop that than, you know, have an interest in it talent that has already established itself because who we'll make it already make it but yeah. there's so much talent coming you know yeah. but there's talent and there's talent you know so because a guy can sing don't mean he can be a great singer and one has to be honest and true to themselves you can have talent but you can be average you can be below average and you can be super talented you know mm -hmm. we're looking for the cream or the crop or you know we would not have an interest mm -hmm. ready for fun I'm a people person good company, quality time, peace of mind. The most important thing to me is that I don't try to be happy. First thing you need to try to is attain a peace of mind. Mm. Sometimes it depends where you get that. For me, I get it in quiet space time where I can think and relax. Sometimes I just, you know, hit Florida and just sit down and relax for a week or so and recharge your batteries and mm -hmm. re-energize your thinking. Mm -hmm. That is basically for me because what makes a lot of people tick is different for everybody. Some people might like hockey, some might like chicken, some might like something else. For me, it just, I have a set of quality, set of people around me, personally, professionally, and these people energize me. We don't have a moment for negative thinking, and this is what, you know, and when I see people around me excel and do well, I am happy for them. The ones who are grateful, because you have some ungrateful ones, you know. And I can't manage ungrateful people. Yeah. <laughs> um, one last question. Any amount you want to ask, man. One last question. Don't ask question. Afraid either. All right, don't afraid. No, uh, man, What kind of anything. music you listen to? Me is a creature of rock steady. Mm. And me is a creature of that era of music, mm -hmm. Lovers Rock. That is where my love truly lies. Mm -hmm. But for me, more than anything, I believe in songs, great music. If You know? If, if, if great songs make you feel good, then songs that are negative and to the opposite of great will make you feel negative and bad. So I just believe in good music, whoever it is from, wherever it is. But I just love, you know, the R&B and the ballads and the rock steady and some great reggae songs, mm -hmm. you know. And it's just subject to how I feel at the time. I am not caught in any... You know, I have a serious collection of music. I don't even play them. I just figure when get like a and can't move, I just take them out and just dust them off are and play them one. Vinyl? Oh, right? vinyl. They are vinyl. Wow. I have a reasonable collection of um, CDs, but 90% of them is vinyl. Mm -hmm. What do you feel about the new age, um, you know, uh, just everything MP3 and in the Look, cloud? You can't turn back time and you can't turn back the technology. Technology come for making things simple and easier for people and you have to respect it and you have to work with it. 
You understand? And that's just what it is. If you look when somebody had a typewriter and they have a computer, you know, mm -hmm. they had drums and then drum machines, you know. Mm -hmm. You had these analog consoles, now we have DAWs. So mm -hmm. you have to respect and endorse, but don't be caught up in the understanding or the usage of it. That's how it makes life simpler. It might allow you to be more reliant upon the technology than your natural training and competencies. You have to be very careful where you kind of bridge the gap or you might have a problem, you know? You've, your collection is wide of vinyl, obviously, because you're doing the music business long mm -hmm. and you say you have a good um, CD collection and stuff. Mm -hmm. Where you feel reggae then no? Like what's your collection now if the new kind of reggae and new kind of dancer? How vast is that collection? There are very few of them I would spend my money to buy I, I waste my time oh. to listen to. Very few. As I said before, innovation is important. You don't just it, it, consumption of music is much more much more selective now and you have to be careful, you know? For example, I remember the era when you buy a record, but what is the new song by the artist? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what it is, you just buy it. Mm -hmm. Because quality music was being made. No, I don't believe this, the great music is made with the same intent of quality for consumers now as it was. It's a, simple fit, it's a simple reason. You can look back now and you probably can't remember most of the artists who are doing well this year, what was their number one song last year? Because a lot of them is weren't great songs. They were social commentaries. Mm -hmm. uh, me I go do a girl tune. Me I go do a money tune. Me I go do a, you know, mm -hmm. it was bigger than that. I heard, uh, what's your name, Nikki Z, the other day, ranting, and I will agree the 80% of what she said. And she said, for example, you know, when somebody have a rhythm and check an artist and him say, who they pan the rhythm before him go pan it? I mean, who, who they pan is irrelevant? What about you, you know? Put yourself. The problem I am having, though, my biggest disappointment within the industry is that um, I don't think where we are going is as innovative as where we can go. We are making things a little bit simpler that anybody can replicate, duplicate, and do better than us of it. Reggae music, if you look historically, was about peace and love and struggle and all of that, all of that. That kind of message is, except for a few persons, very few of them, is being carried by Jamaicans, but the foreign of them carrying it and making serious money. So we need to look at it, and it, most of the music you, you nowadays you hear where people say trap dance all or trap. To me, it's kind of a hybrid of American music in a sense. And I understand and I see it for about 10 years now why you come to this. And a part of the reason is the young and upcoming talented people can't get their music played the way they would like it played. So they make what they think they're hearing being played to hopefully forget some play. And that is what led to this form of that music is not unique to us because it can be if people can be making good and great reggae as much as us can you imagine what they would do with what with what what is happening now we have to go back to innovations reggae is much more than just making music it is innovation and if we don't see it that way god help, well god helping us right now you yeah. think trap dance hall is the flavor of the month might be the flavor of the year you know i mean it's a different set of people consuming it and it's easier to make it simple. You sing about anything, you say anything and, you know, you put out one now, you put out one next month and next week and, you know, and, and this thing I, I can't get where every artist, okay, me I go make me EP, me I go make me LP and I'm sitting like, yeah, King, but if you can't make one great song, mm -hmm. why anybody want seven, eight, nine, ten of you from you? Mm -hmm. Why don't you concentrate all that energy, effort, and resource to make one great song, yes. then you move forward. Yeah. So this whole thing of making me EP and my album is just a fad and a trend that I can't see the reality of it. It makes no business sense. And well, them can do it because most of them is not their money spending doing it. So mm -hmm. them can get somebody bankroll it and then them laugh, to, you know, but yeah. it makes no sense to me. You, you've seen, uh, well, over the years, you know, foreigners have always come and then sample something from what we do and remake and thing. Um, and uh, more recently, they're remaking the older stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you, you find that we're going to go through a period of time where there is nothing to remake and then it's going to like taper off where there's nothing else to sample. 
there's so much that has not been sampled, and I've heard a lot of discussion like people imply as if it's a negative. It's not the greatest thing could happen if people can take something for you which has not had any life in the past 10, 20 years mm -hmm. and incorporate it in new works and mix. I know one man who have one word in a song and has made more money after that one song than he has made his entire 40 year career. So it's a great thing. So what who is recording now, they should be trying to make some things that is so good and great that people now would use. If you look at what they are sampling and using the elements of, it's things that 20, 30, 40 years ago they are using. It's not what's been done now. Because the uniqueness of value and sound and innovative and the creative thing of those works is I don't think we're having that those kind of recordings right now. And there's a whole lot more that has never been touched that people will find and will go back to. So we probably should think, you know, what when we're doing what we are doing today, try and make it works of quality that 20 years from now, it might put some money in many of us pockets. And I can proudly say many of those works I put money in my pocket and I want them sample some more. <laughs> you hear that sample enough more. Of course. Um uh you know in my world is uh you know you know we we, we dig um deep into the, the back end of stuff, people on the tech side, the people that will never get the forward necessarily are out on the billboards at the marquee. Mm -hmm. And you know, you've covered the whole gamut from you know, cutting dubs from when you start to, you know, the business aspect. Sound producing. system too. Yeah, sound yeah, system and all of that. Where you would have tell a young engineer now, Sita no. Where you'd have tell a young engineer who feel that him laptop is the best thing ever and that is it going to get him to be called audio engineer. It will get you somewhere, but somewhere near, not somewhere far. In the real world, people who are skillful and competency Listen to those who have done well and great. YouTube is one of the greatest repository of in real time information. Learn from the pros, learn the secrets, learn the tips, and try to do things differently when you learn from them. Don't believe in yourself, especially if you have, don't believe in yourself too much, especially when you have not achieved a degree of success. First, listen to those who have been successful. And one of the things you learn from most of them is to be humble and to learn, to look, to listen, to practice. And at the end of the day, to master that which you would like to feed you and your family. And listen to good music, like you said, because Quality you can't... Quality content is king. Yeah, you can't just listen to something that's there and train your ears and something that's bad and then thinking that... And, and, and there's good music and there's good music and there's bad music. So the care people want to like the music, music, some terrible and some great. And if you have negative, you have positive. If you have good, you have bad, you have black. The opposite always exists. Don't be fooled. Your best friend in this industry can be your worst enemy because they want to encourage you, but you, you need friends and people who can tell you, yeah, me like it, no, but me think it could or it should. That listen to people, learn from people. You understand? It's not difficult to be honest to yourself first. Because if you want to please millions of people, it simply means you have to find some way to understand what they want, you know? And people believe like, okay, because of social media, you know, need a producer and a record company because music put out. I got go indie. It is harder to sell music now than in the past. When you put a record out, you're releasing that record in real time with probably 100,000 people at the same time. Why do they want to listen to your record? Why are they not going to listen to somebody else? So you have to create, you have to understand there are some important things. For example, you know, you hear the first four bars, two bars of an intro, or you hear the first four bars, eight bars after the intro. And it's the same thing, loop over and over. What innovation is there? Nothing you you need to like grab and make people all your attention. The selling point, the hooks to catch a part in a record, needs to kick in early so people want to even to listen. So you have to understand all of that. You know, there's no compromise for professionalism. Anytime you think you know it all, you will buy it all. <laughs> 
So, Gossie, I thank you so much for spending the time, taking the time to talk with us on In My World. Um, any, any, not last words, but anything you want to tell the youth them? Listen to everything I said earlier. <laughs> everything. Yeah, man. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Canute. We, um, we are in Anchor Studio and we're talking to Gussie Clark, the godfather. Me said that. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. My respect. <laughs>